Hello everyone, this is my old style water wheel sawmill. Now, this sawmill functions off of our incoming river, or upriver, which is going to be the garden hose. That fills up the lake with this replica dam. Here's the spillway for any extra water. And then this chute right here, where the water goes onto the water wheel. Now this is controlled by our little mill operator here. Sorry, he's not actually period correct. That's the best I could find in my house. He controls the gate, which is just a flat piece of foam board connected to this lever. This is just a bamboo skewer going through a little, sorry Bill, going through a mounted just a little pivot point. It's not locked in there or anything. It slides. But anyway, Bill pushes down on this lever and that raises or lowers the gate. Since the gate is below the water level of the spillway, it allows water to flow down the trough and then onto the water wheel to power the mill. What happens there is the water flows onto this wheel, spins the wheel, the shaft is then connected to a crank slider. You got a small link there with a connecting rod, and then the connecting rod pushes the slider, which is the little saw frame, up and down. Nothing too complicated, just a few little moving parts. I forgot to mention all these pennies here. That's just for some added mass on the wheel. That's to act sort of like a flywheel, which just means it stores energy. And the point of the pennies are to make it harder to slow down once it gets going. So here's what the saw part looks like. We got a little table and then a saw blade which goes up and down. And then we got some stairs for our mill operator number two, Bobby, to go up and down if he wants. Now this whole project I just made with stuff I had lying around my house because I built it during the coronavirus quarantine. So as you can see, I had a whole lot of foam board and barbecue skewers laying around. These are a little bamboo barbecue skewers and everything else was cut and glued with foam board and hot glue. And this is my mom's kitchen stock pot that I have commandeered for the purpose of this project. Sorry, mom. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the water and we will see how this thing runs. One more quick note, all these rocks here in the, the waterway, that's just to keep it from blowing away. You got the water from the spillway, that's gonna come down here It'll flow downriver, and then any water off the water wheel just joins up with that and goes downriver. All right, let's see it in action. All right, I turned the river on, and our lake with the dam is filling up, and we will soon have a full, ready-to-go water source. All right, so here is the spillway. We got a few little leaks around our dam, nothing too, too big. Here's the spillway. That is just the natural state of the water when the gate is closed. So as you can see, gate is closed. Not even a drop is flowing down the trough right now. Gate's closed, not even a drop's flowing down the trough. And all the water is going over the spillway and down river. All right, better let it rip. Yo, got it, bye. So he's gonna pull down on the lever. Opens the gate. We'll scoot our leg back just a bit. Okay everyone, I had to adjust the 
position of our water wheel a little bit to get the flow right. But now we have the water coming down directly on top of the water wheel. The water wheel, as you can see, is turning. That turns the crankshaft, which is then powering the saw going up and down. Here's a close-up of the wheel. The chute. As you can see, there's hardly any water flowing over the spillway right now, and almost all of it is going through the gate, down the chute, and powering the wheel. Here's a close-up of the power shaft. Now our mill worker Bobby will go ahead and cut some wood. And it's no, you know, DeWalt power saw or anything, but it does cut through balsa wood. All right, everyone, I did go ahead and turn up the river a little bit. So we got a little bit of water coming off our spillway and a lot of water coming off the chute going to the wheel. So let's go ahead and do some more cutting. That just snapped our log. There you have it. Ta-da! Here's the downstream flow. All right, everyone, that wraps up my water wheel sawmill project. Thanks for watching. That's it. See ya.